Good. What's going on here? You now flaunt yourself as a queen? I am not flaunting myself as a queen. I am queen. No, you're not. And you know it. Sneaky little bitch. You have said enough. More words from you and they will be the last you've ever uttered. Now you listen to me. Annabelle. Princess Annabelle. I am royalty. I should be addressed as one. Whatever. Whatever. Until you learn to address me as queen, only then will that title be restored to you. And while you were trying to digest and understand our little discussion, do let your mother know that the position of the queen has already been taken. Trash. Hey! Listen up, three of you. It will take me little or nothing to get you all sacked from this palace. I don't want to ever see you go close to that thing again. She is not queen, and she can never be queen of this kingdom. Do I make myself clear? You know, I was beginning to ponder why a handful of palace staff didn't come out to welcome me. And then, out of the blues, you both jumped out like hungry kittens from a box. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm my friends. Hey, no! It is treachery not to assemble with other palace staff awaiting my arrival. The arrival of the princess of Amudu Kingdom. Worst of it all is, you're not even wearing the palace staff outfit. For breaking the rules, both of you will face severe punishment. On your knees, under the sun, now, Remain there till I say otherwise. You look amazing. Oh, please don't flatter me. Look at you. <laughs> oh my God, you look so amazing. You too, you look good. You changed a lot. Dad, <laughs> look at Annabelle. Dad. <laughs> Annabelle, my ever radiant and beautiful daughter. You always like spring and surprise, <laughs> right? Thank you, Father. Welcome. <laughs> well, of course, you should know your daughter. She always want to act like the new school Cinderella. Oh, please. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm one. Don't I look you, like a Cinderella? You are. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Enough. Hmm? Okay, I want you to be sad. So, 
Oh, I like that news. Lunch immediately. <laughs> Look at her. Come on, please, sir. That, as I was saying, I must confess, your daughter has changed a lot. <gasps> Did you notice that blue in her eyes? She's so beautiful. That and princess. Beautiful indeed. <laughs> All of a sudden, I have been forgotten. No one has forgotten you. Uh, won't you go get the files for signature? Or you prefer staying here complaining you are forgotten? That I was trying to tell you something before. My account I was hacked. How come nobody's listening to my account was hacked? You got him. Don't mind him. Is this jealousy or something? I don't know. I'm only happy she is back. That's my concern. Yes, my king. I wonder why our king hasn't mentioned anything about it. But it is never too late. The pronouncement of a crown prince usually follows due process. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> In due course, he's going to make a pronouncement. Okay, well, um, but to know, if I may ask, are we practicing Omenan or Omenin? There's this uh, traditional calendar which we follow. Mm -hmm. By now, the prince should have been presented as the hand of the king. Remember, the hand only presides over the council meeting in the absence of the king. You are right. Um, hopefully, we will present this agenda in our next council. Please, um, I'm thirsty. Can you send someone to get me water to drink? Ha! Onion on so good a million drinking water. Hanuga, Hanuga. Ketaki, Ubijumoy. Okay, and I'm an apple and cata. All I decay, a pitch a good. That property? You mean the property in Londone Avenue? Come on, Douglas. You can do better than that. That property cost me a lot. And I'm giving it to you on a fair price. Fair price? Yes. Come on. Come on. That's not a fair price. We're talking about a property at Londune Avenue. That price is not fair at all. Okay, fine. Um, this is what we'll do. I'll round the money up to 50 million naira. 50 million naira. Don't you stop come protesting. On. Come on. <sighs> 50 million naira is enough money for a property at Londune Avenue. Come on. I have my manager on the transfer. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. Hello, baby. Um, How are you? Wait up. Can I see the bill? Please, can you get more glasses? You were supposed to come pick me at the airport. What happened? Yeah, so I'm so sorry. Uh, I couldn't make it. I'm so sorry. Um... Because you know I'll always forgive you. Though, your business comes first before me. Remind me who your first love is again. <laughs> All right. I'll see you at lunch. Love you. <laughs> What's this? My princess, you ordered that. That was how many minutes ago? I said, how many minutes ago? My princess, I don't really know the time. What did you just say? 
What did you just? Man, say you mad? Look at this idiot! Useless thing! Fool! Get out! Get out! Get out! Annabelle, what was the meaning of mom, please? Mother, please! I am not in the mood for that. No sense. I don't know where you got all these fools, lazy bones, lunatics from, very irresponsible people. All they do is stress my life in this palace. I don't know what is wrong with all of you. Debbie, Debbie, what is it again now? Debbie, please talk to me. What else? Is it not Princess Annabelle? Just because I served her rose and juice late. That's why she treated me like an animal. Even an animal will be treated better than I was. I've told you to stop worrying about things like this. Please. Since she returned, I have been marked. Honestly, I've been marked. Do not worry. Everything is going to be okay. Okay? So where is she? I don't know. She was outside. I think she's still there in front. Oh yeah, it's okay. Stop crying. Let's go. Come, let's go. It's okay, man. Your Majesty, we, the Council, have voted for you to raise the issue of who becomes the hand of the king. But because of the delay, some council members think that you are stalling. Oh, no, I'm not stalling. I'm equal to the tax ahead. And I want to remind you that I really understand what is expected of me. And it is not yet too late to do that. Does that satisfy your curiosity? Yes, Your Majesty. Then relay it to the other members of the council. I will do that. <laughs> so you see, Annabel here was the one who placed the bets. She was just bragging and bragging and Right. I wasn't bragging. I was only trying to make a point. Luna, stop saying this. Just say you were not following the argument. That's all. But hold on, baby. Um, what, were, what were you actually thinking? Because I don't understand. Were you actually planning on climbing the tower? I mean, we're talking about the... The, the tower? The highest and the tallest tower in Europe? If not the whole world. <laughs> baby, people break records. There is nothing wrong if my name is in Guinness Book of Records. So you see how my trip to Paris suddenly became a comedy. Right. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Her Majesty said I should let you know that lunch. What are you ready. doing here? Her Majesty said I should inform you that lunch is ready. Are you out of your mind? Get out. Get out! I will not repeat myself.
I believe in discipline. I must make sure every erring fool is corrected in line. We were having a conversation before she interrupted. Babe, that was so harsh. Excuse you? Who invited you? What right do you have to poke your nose into my affairs? Don't try that rubbish again. No sense. Debbie. Debbie, what happened? Who asked you to kneel down under this hot sun? Who else? You asked me questions, do you already have answers to? I don't know why Princess Annabelle has chosen to single me out to punish me all the time. Please, 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 stand up, let's go inside. You, you can't kneel under this hot sun now. Stand up, let's go inside. No, 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 please. It's better you just kill me. Just kill me. I've been forgotten what happened the last time I defied her. I've been forgotten. So I'm we not ready to go through such punishment again. Please, please, get up. Let's go inside. See, let me tell you. Princess will always forget. Except somebody tells her. Let's go inside. Wait, Injudeka. Oh, you are helping her go against Princess Annabelle. The pride of Amado. No, 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 no. Oh, Deborah. Oh, uh, no, no, she didn't do anything. Be truthful, can't you see? I'm still serving my punishment now, please. And what is your business, eh, Chinelu? Are you done nosing around and licking the princess's feet? Get out from here. Nobody invited you here. Debbie, let's go inside. And who says I need your invitation? This is the people's palace. I have every right to go or do anything I want to do. The princess must hear this. No, no, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. Just go, go, please. You will not murder the princess and the whole palace. That is not so my punishment. Hey, God. <sighs> 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 I don't know what else to do. Sometimes I feel like I am not wanted in the palace. The princess hates me with passion. Come back home. Staying back there is like committing suicide. And you are digging your own grave with water. Please come back home. Come back home, you say? Yes. How are we going to survive? I have to earn a living. Then stop complaining. Yes. Stop complaining. It's obvious you will never listen to anything I said to you. If you want to remain in the palace, stay off her lane. Completely off her lane. There's nothing to worry about, Mama. For it is going to be a walk in the park. Adversity makes a man. 
wise. Oh no, I, I really want to know why the wash. Isn't it too early to be presented as heir to the people of Amudo when my father is still very much alive, healthy, and strong? I mean, no one is praying for any sudden death. This is not about the fear of sudden death. It is tradition. A king presents his son to Imobi before his demise. And after that, he assumes the position of the hand of the king. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh I, I see. I mean, hand of the king. I understand now. This is your responsibility, my prince. And when this is done, you now sit in council and also preside over council meeting in the absence of your father. <laughs> wow. So much responsibilities, if you ask me. Very well. May I also remind you that after the council meeting, a date will be chosen for that. All right, you know, I will be standing by. Pots now. I mean, to the right to be soaking this pot with water. You will not soak it. See now, it's very hard for me to wash. Who shall the down? Soak what with water? Eh? Can't you carry sand and scrape everything off just once? Eh? Eh? I know you will not wash this plate. I know you are not washing it. Uh -uh. Come on, uh, the very uh, one. What do you mean? What am I not doing now? No. Am I not washing the pot? You think I don't know you have been listening to my conversation with Deborah? Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Watch this place. Watch this spot. Make sure that it looks neat. Like it is a new one. My this spot is hard to wash. You know, soak it with water. Now you're blaming me. On, on our gorge. Come on, pot and plate. You cannot wash. If I return here and you have not finished washing this, then where would you go, Boro? And man. You're, you're going to see some see the bara. Do it fast and there's a list for you on the table. Carry it and go to market. On the check with me. You know, I'm the guy and visit the Deborah. You give me work in this house. I'm not going to this one. There's a list for me, the table to go. Oh, you do Polina, Polina, Polina. Oh, do this, Polina. Wash the Polina. Do this. Everything, everything, me. Deborah, Deborah, where have you been now? Eh? Something wrong. Hey, Princess Annabelle has been looking for you all over the palace. Where have you been? And with the looks on her face, she's very angry, oh, very angry. Hey. Eh? Where are you? Deborah! Greetings, my princess. Where are you coming from at this time of the day? Ain't you supposed to be here, discharging your duties as the palace chef? Instead of going about spending time with some useless, dirty, foolish, nonsense boyfriends? I'm sorry, my princess. I don't have... Shut your mouth! Who permitted you to leave this palace? Apologies, my princess. 
I simply went to visit my mom. Didn't you read the terms and conditions of your contract? Answer me! But I just answered. You disgust me. You are an animal. Your types are not supposed to be seen living with humans. Get out of my sight before I change my mind. Get out! Fool! This is painful. This is heartbreaking. This is painful. This is heartbreaking. What will I do without the power of God? What can I do without the grace of I'm not sure you can wash with us, can you? It's too. Wow. Dad. <coughs> Be seated. Thank you. Thank Dad. you, sir. Um, Dad, Mom, I'd like to introduce you to. Jessica Nosike, daughter of Robert Anosike. She's the one I'd like to spend the rest of my life with. Jessica, my parents. You're so beautiful. Come here. Come Thank you, you Highness. Thank you. Oh, That's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> you have eyes like your father. Of course he should. After all, he is a chief of the old block. <laughs> what am I missing? You're just in time, my princess. Your brother brought her a beautiful girl. Wow. A wife. <laughs> well, um, Jessica, I'd like to introduce my beautiful sister Annabelle. Annabelle? Lady, I'd like to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. You're welcome, dear. Isn't she beautiful? She's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. Um, how are your parents? They're doing just well, my queen. And that reminds me, you said uh, Anosike. Robert Anosike. Yeah, that reminds me. He's being able to carry out successfully the contract that I offered him some time ago with Benjo Industries made him indebted to my heart. Your father is a good man. Oh, thank you so much, Your Highness. On his behalf, shall be well with you. Amen. Thank you. So Amen. <laughs> so, uh, that. What next? Not again. 
been looking for you. What is wrong? Do not cry. I understand. I am not. But there are tears in your eyes. Tears are what? Unexpressed. Certain events reminds us of the past. Debbie, do not be a prisoner of your past. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Please, let the past worry for itself. Don't bog your head with it. I beg you, please. Thank you very much for You know, certain lessons leave a lasting mark. But I have decided to get a hold of the present and correct the past. It is time to clip the wings of the bat. You speak in parables. What are you getting at? You people should be giving me notice now. I've been looking for you. Ifunaya, what is this? Her Majesty has instructed that we serve lunch. Have you forgotten? Prince Leonard is here with his guests. His fiancée. Let's do as instructed. I'm not ready for unnecessary drama. Oh, you fear drama. You. You fear. I'm not afraid of drama. Uh, well, my son. I think you have taken the first bold step by choosing a beautiful, well-educated young lady as a wife. And I'm also happy she's from a responsible family. I was thinking you were never going to approve of her. Why would I do that? You know, the normal procedures. Royal blood is not entangled with non-royals. There you got it all wrong. As far as I am concerned, that's a misconception. You see, my mother was not royalty, yet she married the man of her choice. But let me even ask you one pertinent question. Do you really love Jessica? Of course, with all my heart. Good. You know what that means? It shows that you are now fully prepared to be presented as the hand to the throne of this kingdom. <laughs> wow. Well, Father, I am I'm ready to take responsibility as the hand of the king. You mean it? Yes, I mean it. my princess. What's this? I don't understand my princess. How many times have I warned you not to serve my food with dirty plates? But my princess, I always clean the plates before serving. You clean what? Come, come, come. Look at this. It, it, is this plain? Hmm? Yes, Are you mad? Annabelle! Let us come over here. Come on, that's no way to behave in front of our special guest. Oh, please spare me those bullshits. Do not teach me how to handle my palace staff. 
They earn salaries. They should live up to expectations. I am afraid, Annabelle, you have to tender your apologies to Deborah. Come on, Annabelle. This is so disrespectful. And henceforth, I ban you from dining on this table. For records, you make your own food yourself henceforth. My king, it was her. Shut up. You don't teach me how to discipline my own daughter. She wouldn't have turned out like this if you had not spared the rod. Nonsense. I have lost my appetite. Can you leave now? Yes, my queen. Baby, what is it? You were this quiet all through lunch and now you're seated here, still quiet with me. Stand around with a long face. To me. Talk to me, what is it? Tell me, is it a food? Did you like it? I did. Except the part where your sister had to treat the poor girl like a slave. Oh. Is she usually that way? No, of course not. Rude? <laughs> My sister is not like that. You know how ladies can be with mood swing. It's just mood swing, that's all. She's not usually like that. Well, I cannot forget... Such sight in a hurry. Your sister needs to visit a psychiatrist. She needs help. Hello, hello. You hold it right there. You're judging my sister already? No, but she needs help. No girl, hey, hey, right? Hey. I said hold it right there. You want the love, harmony, peace? Happiness and this relationship to continue? Keep my family out of it. You hear me? Of course, yes, but... But there is no but. Do you understand? I'll be in the car when you're ready. Let me drop you off. Dad. Dad. What is it, son? Dad, I am just coming from the bank right now. And my account officer just told me that I do not have access to my account. Dad, why? Douglas, I thought we'd been through this before. Hmm? You can only gain access to that account when you marry Princess Annabelle. But why, Dad? Why? Why are you forcing me to marry this girl without getting to know her first? I have pleaded with you to give me some time. Give me time to get to know Annabelle. I you heard all the time! Sorry, I raised my voice. Look, all I want to do is to make sure you are responsible and focus. But Dad, we are on the same page. Cutting me off is not the way forward. It is the best way. Marry Princess Annabel, and you will have all your privileges restored. But Dad... Relax, son. Trust your father. He will not advise you wrongly. Come, relax. What is it? Debbie, why are you screaming? Dad, 
flash. That same flash. Another one. Please, Debbie. I've told you to let go of this. Please. You just have to let go. Hmm? Whichever way, whatever way, just let go. Debbie, please. Debbie. Debbie. Debbie, please. I'm coming. Let me get water for you. Hey. Why don't you leave the bag? Your continual stay they always take it. The memories are not always kind, you know. That little girl keeps adding salt on injury. My child, I know I cannot stop you from the decisions you've made in life. The unstopping decisions keep the fire of revenge burning. I have come to take revenge. This is that's okay, it's enough. Are you sure, ma? Of course, thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. My apologies, my love. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. There is no need to apologize, my sweetheart. I understand schedules change sometimes. So please, don't let me be in your way. Oh. As long as I am concerned, you can always be in my way. Whatever. Thank you. I will enjoy myself so much. Put everything that's expensive so I'll enjoy it. Let me feel like a princess for once. Like a princess. Hey, Funaya. So you've been the one drinking juice, blended fruits, wine, grape, everything. Ah, not me, oh. What are you doing with this one? I was trying to blend more fruits to add to the juice. Blend more fruits at this backyard. Ha! Huh. My princess must hear this. Princess will hear what? Eh? Princess will hear what? What's going on here? If I is a thief, I saw her drinking juice at the backyard. <laughs> if Naya, please go inside the king's school. Eh? You tell her to go? Uh huh. Oh! I'll report the both of you to the princess. You're free to. Go and report. In fact, report the queen to the king. Every time you want to report this, you want to report that. One day, I'll be the one to report you to the king. Even if you do nothing wrong in this palace. Nonsense. Babe, enough of this tapping. You're getting me nervous. You look disturbed. What is it? <sighs> yes, I am. I think it's a big mistake accepting Prince Leonard's marriage proposal. Wait, are you talking about the marriage proposal? Wait, don't tell me you are bailing on the lover boy. It's not about him. It's his sister. That girl is so rude. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder why she's so wicked. Was she rude to you? <laughs> of course not. How dare she? 
I witnessed that talk down on her maid. Girl, you needed to see how this girl humiliated the poor girl. She made my appetite fly off the window. <sighs> Sorry about that. But you're not getting married to the princess. Yes, I know. But she is family, you know. And I don't even know how I'm going to stomach all those nonsense from her. Hey. Girlfriend, you're not getting married to a whole pool of husbands. It's just one man. I know, but... But please, you've said it already, you know. Just come out of this mood of yours, okay? Don't take me out so that I'll go for lunch, please. Please, madam. Oh, Douglas. My prince. How are you? Very well, thank you for asking. How are you? I'm good. You look good. Thank you. I always look good. <laughs> you look good too. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I can see you are driving off already. Uh, yes. Duty calls, man. I'll understand. see you around. Okay. Have a good day. You too. By the time it is done with us, you'll be lawyer. You'll be lawyer. <laughs> see, so. see this, 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 um, this color. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Mm, what about this red? The red nah, color? Ah, the red doesn't go with this color, no. You Come back so? here. What am I supposed to do with this? For the drink, Mom. Which drink? Your drink, Mom. Is this the right glass for this drink? Go in there. Get me the right glass for this drink. Now. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I like this. I like this color. And I'll match it with this on the back. Baby, if you don't mind, you can join us. No, don't worry, I'm fine. I prefer this. <laughs> Okay. So I was saying I like this. What and I like this color? one. I think red will go well. Nah. Let's take red off. Come. Oh. I don't understand. Is it that you cannot differentiate between a wine glass, a brandy glass, and a whiskey glass? I am disappointed at you, your boss, and the entire management. If your boss doesn't know how to run a hotel, you should close down this place. What nonsense! You're just a moron! Look at the thing! I told you to go in there and get me the right glass. You went there and brought another wrong one. It shows that you are dumb. I don't understand how foolish people get employed in hotels. You're not intelligent. Unintelligent people disgust me. Get the hell out of this place! Tell your boss that I said he is a fool and he's not fit to run a hotel. He should go back to his village. That's where he belongs. I want nonsense.
This is painful. This is heartbreaking. This is painful. This is heartbreaking. What will I do without the power of God? What can I do without the grace of God? of God, revenges of God, revenges of God, revenges of God, Annabelle, have you for once thought that your actions might put you into trouble one day? How could you just harass someone like that? It doesn't make sense. It shows poor upbringing. I don't like it. You would have at least created an impression before everyone. Come on. You're right. I admit. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Please, forgive me. Anambeo, listen. It's not about being sorry today and tomorrow it will repeat again. No. I mean, I need you to just try and work on your anger issues, please. I beg you. I will. You promise? I promise. I understand that you're kind. Hmm? But on behalf of Annabelle, I want to say that I am deeply sorry for all the drama that happened earlier. Okay. That was so rude. The way she treated the service person. That was wrong. Who does that? And you were there, you didn't say anything, you just kept quiet all through. Come on, Chima, don't say that. Hmm? Besides, that was just a mistaken identity. She has already apologized. Her apologies means nothing to me. I mean, how could you get yourself entangled with such a sadist? Huh? I'm just thinking we're going to make her your wife makes it even worse. Well, that is choice. Listen, um, I'm not here for us to fight or argue about anything. I just want to formally say that I am sorry for everything that happened. And of course, to check up on you. Well, apology accepted. Yeah, I forgive you. Thank you. I won't forget it in a hurry. But you're forgiven. Listen, sister. Um, it's a small world. Okay? And we're all human beings. Try to forget. Well, I will not forget it. But you're forgiven. Thank you. What kind of human being is that? Like, the way she was just treating everybody like a piece of trash. Hello, sunshine. I don't know. It's as if my body is right in a blender. My heart is bleeding. Please don't remind me what I'm trying to forget. Let me call you back. Sneaky bitch. 
you hear from me. My own is different. Is this how we should be? Is this how we should be? Oh, I belong here. Mm. Why this selection? Oh. I thought I belong here. Oh. That's it. Son. Why this selection? Thank you. Do have a nice day. Oh. Hold on, brains. You see, preparations are on the way for your formal presentation as heir to the throne of this kingdom. And like I said, you have to make yourself available. And don't forget, Jessica is going to be part of all the events. Father, we're not married yet. It doesn't matter. You are the prince, and no prince is presented without a woman standing by him. So she's going to be part of all the events. Oh, I understand. I'll see you very much later, Father. Enjoy yourself wherever you're going. You too. Tell me, why do you want me to be there? I thought it was meant for royals. <laughs> Who said that? Come on, darling. Is that why your face is like that? You are royal. Once you have my love, it makes you royal automatically. I was expecting you to give me all oh, that snap. That's a point of appreciation. That's fine. Since you said I am royal, so what is expected of me? All right, now that you have asked. First, lunch with me. Secondly, we'll visit the boutique so we can get you something to sleep over with. Really? Was that inclusive on the menu? Wait until you see the things included in the menu. Don't tempt me. I am tempted already. <laughs> you don't mean it. Does it look like I am joking? Sis, listen. By the time I start this project, okay. hmm, maybe you will understand me better. Because it is going to be big. It is going to be huge, massive. It is going to be talk of town. As a matter of fact, I'll make sure no one else is beats mine. Wow. I'm telling you. <laughs> With the way you're sounding, <laughs> this edifice you're about to build. Mm -hmm. It will exist till thy kingdom come like it will exist till eternity. Are you serious? <laughs> Listen, I even want the one that will exist more than thy kingdom come. You don't really? Say. Come on, man. Give me some credits. Okay. I'm serious. Listen, I will make it big. And trust me, I am going to involve the interest of foreigners. They will come and patronize me. <laughs> Do you know? You know this is saying? very, very interesting, man. But I will wait. And watch you build the edifice. But before then, I am starving. And you have to take me out for lunch. The more I'm drinking this wine, 
the hungry I become. That's not a problem. Anything for my baby sister. Come on. Let me go get my handbag. Go get your bag. Mr. Edivis. It is me, no one else. Mr. Edivis. I'll give it. They call me that again. Mr. Edivis. That's my name. <laughs> Mr. Edivis. It is me, no one else. Yeah, your bag, man. I'll spoil you, silly. You don't know who you're talking to. I am your brother, but unfortunately, you don't know me too well. And after spoiling you, I am going to build my head fix. It is what it is. <laughs> mm. I have come to take revenge. This is better time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I have come to take revenge. This is better time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. The silent night awakens. The spirit of vengeance, locking in the crown of shadows, awakens to hear your prayers tonight. It is time. Speak into the darkness and have your wishes granted. Powers of darkness. Crown of darkness. I call on you to crush my enemies who have brought me nothing but pains. King Ganichebe and his family took away all the people that mattered most to me. Crown of darkness. Death. Death. It is time for the final awakening. Well, um, I have called us here because I want to take a very important decision. Decision? Uh, Dad, since when did you start involving us in your decision making? <sighs> For your information, I want to take Deborah here as my wife. Hello, family. It's impossible 
It's never going to happen. Something sinister is happening in this household. And you and I are not going to let it happen. What? How did that girl maneuver into this family? That is the one question I have been asking myself. How? Do you know what that means? She's trying to take our mother's position while she's still alive. No, now. I will never let it happen. Never. God forbid. God forbid. You know what this is? It's a slap on our faces. All I know is she's never going to have that without a fight from us. Annabelle, did you say a fight? I am going to strangle the living daylight out of that witch. By the time I am through with her, she will regret ever stepping foot into this household. It is never going to happen! Not while I'm alive! Not while I'm alive! Jimmy. The king wants to marry Deborah. Uh -huh. And so? Deborah is a very beautiful woman. Hardworking and very intelligent. So there's no law that says that the king cannot get married to her. Oh, I see. You are scared. <laughs> Me? Scared? You are scared. Scared of what? You are scared of Deborah. I'm not scared. <laughs> Ade Kakaraka. Mm. Princess Hanabel is going to protect you. Protect who? Me. Look at this one. Protect who? Me. Princess Hanabel protects yes. you. Where she did protect you take her? She will not protect you. The princess. Where is that conspiring fool? My princess. So you're also part of the plan? You all are going to become queens in this palace? I don't understand my business. Shut your mouth! You fool! Go in there. Pack your things and get out of this palace. You and that sliming Deborah. Please, my princess. Now! <laughs> You both would regret it. Make sure both of them leave this palace today. This is bare that time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I have come to that revenge. This is bare that time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. She has no. My question is, why Deborah, an ordinary maid? How could my husband disgrace me like this by getting married to Deborah? Where did I go wrong? His Majesty has always confided in me. But this came as a surprise. I must confess to you. It is the same with all of us. Talk to your king. Tell him he will be disgracing our family by getting married to Deborah. You have nothing to worry about. I will speak with him. Trust me. You are the one true queen of Amudo Kingdom. The queen whose reign will last forever. Thank you, no. Thank you so much. Talk to your king. I will also consult with the rest of the council about it. I believe we can be able to mount pressure on His Majesty to hold off this union, which we all know will spell doom for all of us. Good. Um, Your Majesty, let me get you cooler. Thank you, Anu.
Go in peace, my friend. Packing your things. Your little randovers with the Majesty cost me my job. Princess Anabe asked me to leave. Else I regret it. And you too. The princess? Jireka, listen. I am the new queen of Amudo Kingdom. With my office, I command you to stay. But well, you're not queen yet. I don't want any troubles. There will be trouble if you leave. Stop what you're doing. Pull yourself together. Why don't you go and prepare something delicious for my king instead of being naughty? But... Get to work. Now. What exactly do I need this room for? All things have passed. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Your father is an adult. And obviously he can take decisions as a man. <gasps> No, no, I disagree with you that he cannot take all the decisions when his decision definitely will affect his family. He has family. Tell me, why does he need another wife? Too many questions. Too many questions, my love. Trust me, honey, that's, that's not the kind of energy you need now. Have you tried talking to him? Oh, no. What are you gonna anger in me if I try confronting him? You never know. I might just lose my temper. Brit. Brit, sweetheart. Everything is going to be all right. Everything is never going to be all right. I need you to calm down. This is this. What is this, man? Huh? Chima, what is this? Why, why are you laughing? What's funny? Wait, that glass. Let me be sure of something. Uh -huh. What is it? The king <laughs> proposed to his maid. Like. <laughs> To your saddest girlfriend. <laughs> now the maid's power is greater. This is not funny. I don't I don't like the way you're you're just laughing. It's not funny. Yeah. See, this can actually happen to anybody. I mean, put yourself in her shoes. I will push you. <laughs> that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't want it. <laughs> I'm not interested in her shoes. <laughs> Why are you worried? 
coming. <laughs> you only wear. Stay here. Since you just want to laugh and laugh and laugh out your ass. No, but this show is fun and nice. Where you going to song now? Marrying the king will put you at a vulnerable spot, though. It's you. They're all part of my plan for revenge. Same position where they will watch me take food from their mouths. Sister. I want to be one of your shivies. In fact, Daddy, I want to be the one to catch the flower. <laughs> Shut up! I asked you to speak. Come on, get out of this place. Let me discuss. <laughs> Pauline, I said get away from here! You want to pick the flower, Daddy. I wanted to ask, huh? what if they put up a fight? Get one of you, man. Until then, I will enjoy this exalted position, notwithstanding. I have never felt so embarrassed in my entire life. An ordinary cook, a low class, that dirty local thing. No. This is the height of it all. That is life for you. And I refuse to accept that. Listen, from the creation of the world, there has always been a gap between the ruling class and her subjects. My father has just smeared his royal gown in shit. And I am totally disgusted and disappointed at him. Well, I did. That is why they say nobody knows tomorrow. You saw and treated that girl just like a common maid. But your father saw a woman in her. See? What is she doing here? What are you doing here? Look, I... I'm you, you, are, you have no right to be in my father's house. I'm sorry for what happened the other day. I'm really sorry. Oh, really? Um, you... excuse me. Just give us a moment. I will skip in. Whatever. on her manners, okay? It's nothing. Like I said, the table has turned around for her. She's no longer that maid that you used to know. She has stepped up, so you have to deal with it. Out of the way, woman! No way! Not until you tell me why you chose to embarrass me before my family. And what exactly do you mean by that? You know exactly what I mean. Anicheve, what have I done to you? Where did I go wrong? Where have I wronged you in our marriage of 32 years? You have done nothing, and you should know that. I am first and foremost an African. A first-class king that is entitled to many wives. Really? Yeah. But definitely not Deborah. My maid. My cook. Hmm. There are countless of other maids you could have chosen from. Why Deborah? Don't you have shame? Like you're forgetting something. And what exactly is that? She is also a woman like you. Don't stop me again. No! 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 This cannot happen! No! No. Not Deborah! This can't happen!
No, this will not happen. Deborah, never! My love, we've been sitting here for close to an hour without you uttering a word. Are you okay? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? We've been sitting here and you're just drowning yourself. You, you're just acting like you're not happy we're here. See, listen, if you're not happy we are here, we can just go home. You know can, you can at Can you just... Can you just keep quiet? And allow me to think. I don't know what is wrong with you girls. You feel that the world revolves around you. Please, allow me to think. Thank you. In your Majesty, I don't think it is right for you to marry your maid. It is a total disrespect to the Queen. Coupled with the fact that um, Her Majesty is from the royal blood, will. this might change a lot of things. A lot of things like what? Well, uh, since you have no answer to that, let me ask both of you a question. And I want an honest answer. Has there been any law stopping a man, no, I mean a king, from marrying more than one wife? Um, no, Your Majesty. You are correct about the law. But there yeah, is no law to know. No law. You see, I am the king here. And as the king, I am entitled to take more than one wife. I have taken my decision, and my decision is the final. Oh no. Your Majesty. I want you to lead the delegation to Deborah's father's house and see that all the traditional requirements are met. Have I spoken? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. Mother, have you been able to stop father from this ungodly suicide mission? I have tried everything in the book to dissuade him from... from marrying that girl. But he is stubborn. He is still insisting on marrying her. That means Deborah has decided to dig her own grave. Because there will be chaos in this palace. The next time she set foot here, I will set this entire palace ablaze. And I mean every word of it, Mother. It is all my fault. I shouldn't have accepted her as a maid. No. No, Mother. You did the right thing. You did what a good queen should do. But it's not a time for us to relax or relent. The time to keep our eyes open, our fingers crossed. Our next target will be on the company. That will never happen. She will never take what my husband and I have labored for. Never. Deborah. I will teach you never to be ungrateful. I have come to take revenge. This is better time. I can't take it anymore. Oh, anymore. Oh. I, I am, but I look. Yeah, 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 No, no. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? What do you mean? Hmm? The presentation should be put on hold. Why? The marriage. His Majesty says that after his marriage to Deborah, mm -hmm. then presentation of the heir will now take a center stage. Mm. Um, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
I'm, I'm not doing the right thing. Hmm? The marriage has begun. You cannot stop it midway. Hey, uh, uh, but His Majesty is, thinks otherwise. And according to our tradition, mm -hmm. we should not be always arguing with His Majesty. His Majesty is always right. And we should respect their feelings. Uh, I, let's huh? just have a little patience with him, all right? Our parents will be put them through. Yeah. Uh, 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 sit. Sit down. Uh, there's this palm wine somebody brought for me in the morning. And I reserved it. Let me go and get it. <laughs> please go, please go. Please. <laughs> let me sit here, let me sit here. <laughs> Hey, hey! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please don't tell me that. Eh? My own daughter. Hey. The beggar. The rejected one. Finally, is going to be the queen of our mood. Hey! Chineko hey. Twakede. Nah, Chineke mo! Mama, you're disturbing the neighbor. Don't tell me that again. What's going on here? When last did we have this kind of celebration in this compound? Oh. <laughs> that means if you open these bags here and see what is inside, mm -hmm. you will just faint. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see now. <laughs> what is this one? Hey! Look how good, though. Hey! Look how good. Hey! These are the things I'm wearing for my traditional marriage. Hey! Hey! <laughs> that one is your own. Come in! Hey! Come in! 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 Come Shut up! Sister, is it like this? Hey! See this one? Hey! But this one is fine though! Hey! Have you been to wear, George? Sister, this is your brother. Hey! 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 Hey
Daddy, right. don't forget to buy me something. I will buy you. <laughs> Take care All right, bye. All right, yeah. <laughs> Take care. I hope everything is ready here. Yeah. Yes, your briefcase is in there. Right. Bye. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. Who is that? What a way to come to our house, my stepdaughter. You're not my stepmother. How could you even think of it? You shameless gold digger. Hmm. That hits you so hard on the jaw, right? I know you have lost sleep, thinking and trying to figure out how this low life, like you put it, will grace your father's bed. We will not let you have peace in my palace. Just so you know, the war drums have just been rolled out. Uh, I'm shaking. Who is going to beat the drums? You? You are just a dot in the circle of bigger things that are yet to unfold before your eyes. Come to think of it, why are you so engrossed in your father's palace? Are you not a woman? Shouldn't you be married and in your husband's house? Oh, oh, maybe, just maybe, you have unholy desires for your father. How dare you? Mm -hmm. Are you stupid? How dare you make such disgusting, irritating and ungodly words to me? Remember, you are still my slave in your dreams. I know where this is headed towards. Money. I'll make a reasonable offer. So your shameless cost generation can have a bed of roses to lie on. This opportunity will never come by. Name your prize, low life. I am not hungry. Do not cross the path that I thaw. Else, I'll crush you. Did you say you're not hungry? You look hungry already. I both will of you. crush you. You look hungry. I will crush you. You're coming to my palace because I will crush you. I'll crush you if you step there. No I problem. I will crush you. Le le le. You, this you is will your crush. This old seven of my side. Oh. Did you hear? I have never been so insulted. <laughs> she probably thinks I am still a palace mate. Uh, my daughter, I heard her. I heard all she vomited. <laughs> my, my dear, see, from the look of things, these people are dangerous. I'm beginning to think that your marriage to Kingani Chebe is, 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 is no longer safe. Please, try and see if you can maybe... King Anichebe is my husband. Nobody, nobody can stand against that union. Don't worry about Annabelle. She's just an overblown elephant. One puncture and she would deflate like the balloon that she is. The bomb, the bomb one. Yeah, this is quite dangerous. Huh? The bomb. The bomb. The bomb. She's got confidence. She's arrogant. And that is driving me crazy. I feel like strangling that girl to death with my bare hands and watch her take her last breath. My love, I think you should sit down. I'm not in the mood for that. That thing is getting on my nerves. It is time for us to let your family issues rest a while. 
Let's focus on our lives. Excuse you? What did you just say? <sighs> you heard me. It is time for us to start a family. You mean all this while I was talking, it didn't make any sense to you? Douglas, why are you so selfish and self-centered? In what way, if I may ask? You stupidly and selfishly raised up a matter like this when I'm yet to solve my family issues? Really? <sighs> Baby, listen. Your father has made his decisions, and I think you should respect that. You cannot continue to beat yourself trying to, to, to stop a ship that is halfway across the shore. It doesn't make sense. Just let it slide. The old man has made up his mind. Let it go. There is nothing you or any other person can do about it. Please. Come on, baby. Listen. It is time for us. Hmm? Let's not let any... Any negativity break into us, it, it, it won't make sense at all. But it's time we start up a family, build a family together. I love you. Annabelle, listen, Annabelle, I didn't mean that way. Annabelle. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way, please. Why are you walking out of here? I have got to take me there. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. Get me more. I have got to take me there. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. Get me more. She has got to take me there. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. She can't take it anymore. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. Never what you look at. Revive. What you got to do? Revive. You need to know what you need. Revive. What you look at. Revive. What you got to do? Revive. You need to know what you need. They didn't know how to revive.
Your Majesty, we have arrived. This is the palm wine that accompanies the woman that is being married, according to tradition. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. God, come and remove this responsibility on her head. for the color. Uh, don't mention it. At least we thank God for keeping us alive and seeing you days in good health. Mm, you are right. You know, I've been meaning to discuss this with you. Yeah. What is it? I sense tension in the royal family. Yes. You are very observant, eh, Chamber Malo. The prince and the princess, including the queen, are opposed to King Anicheve's choice of a new wife. But why? The king has the right to choose a wife anywhere he deems fit. Um, yes, you're right again. But the difference in this case is that, that the royal family sees her as a maid, as one who is common, a cook, a maid who serves the meal anywhere, at any time they need it, now takes decision as any child or wife of the king. Hmm? Hey. <laughs> Mm. Hey! No, mm. this is serious. Very, very serious. serious. Very. Very. Mm. Change is permanent. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows what is going to happen tomorrow. No. This one has a different meaning, <laughs> a different shape. Up here. Up here. I have come to take revenge. This is bad time. I can't take it anymore. 
This is better than I can't take it anymore. Anymore. What you look at? What you got on the key? Revenge. Give each other what you need. Revenge. What you look at? Revenge. What you got on the key? Revenge. Give each other what you need. Revenge. What is it? Why are you acting surprised? This was definitely bound to happen. You know, no matter how much you wash a pig, it will always be a pig. I'm not surprised you're all dressed in royalty. Everyone knows you are a shameless gold digger. A fool, that is who you are. It's obvious. Thank you. Not a very nice way to talk to your stepmother. You are not my stepmother. You're not even worthy to bear that name, mother. You're worthless amongst all women. Let me warn you. In your sojourn in this palace, do not ever cross my path. Do you understand? Are you done blabbing? Now you listen and listen to me real good. I am not one to become a coward in the face of war. What matters most to me in this palace is to do that that I have come to do. And you do not talk to me in such manner. I have decided to accept this new position of royalty with all sense of maturity. And what matters most to me is stability, consistency, loyalty, and respect. And trust me, my dear stepdaughter, your father, my husband, has graced me with all of that. Follow me. This is the this is the time I can't 
From a maid to a queen. Mother, do you even know how bad that sounds? I am the only legitimate queen. No one can take that away from me. Not even that two faced bitch downstairs. I feel like strangling her to death. My instinct tells me that she has father under her spell. <laughs> we need to stop her before it's too late. <laughs> she can be a wife as long as she wants, but she can never be the queen. For there is only one queen in Amundo Kingdom. And that queen is me. You are going to listen to me. You hear me? You are definitely going to listen to me. It's enough, son. It's not enough. Why would you disrespect my mother like that? Why would you disrespect this family? What did you do? You brought in that slave as, as a wife? You don't have any right to do what you are doing right now. As a man, you have your own choice, and I have my own choice. You don't have the right to order me around in my own palace. I am your father, and I am your son! Which means I have right, I have a role to play in every decision that you make. Father, you have children. You have everything you want. Send her back and tell her this whole thing was all a mistake over my dead body. Never! The king never goes back on his words. I love Deborah, and Deborah has come to stay till my dying days. This is Deborah time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. This is Deborah time. I can't take it anymore. I'm so happy for you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. <laughs> I don't even know when I will get used to this. You better let it stick. Else, Igwe will have your head on a platter. Your Majesty. I'm so happy for you, Debbie. <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. You've changed. I never knew you were so beautiful. Ah, from the bottom of the food chain to the top. Oh, yes. Whatever Deborah cannot do does not exist. Yes, Your Majesty. Ah. And why are you two still sitting? You didn't see what she did. <laughs> really? You think I should worry from that? <laughs> okay then. I'll sit to did you summon them? No. Perfect. 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 All of you are already here. Fantastic. What are you doing here? Don't you know where your class and types are? You will address me either as Queen Mother or as Her Majesty. Don't get me upset. You're out of your mind. Listen up. You must know the boundary between my mother, the queen, and I, else... You're not going to do anything. Just save your energy, because I'm not going to waste mine on you. So, major reason I call this gathering is to make a public announcement. Henceforth, 
Njideka is no longer a regular palace maid. She has been promoted to the capacity of my personal maid, and that takes effect as we speak. You must be crazy. Njideka is my maid. If you want one, go get it for yourself. Sadly, she didn't consult you for your opinion before taking her decision, or did she? I guess no. Now listen up, everyone. Njideka no longer engages in palace domestic activities. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes my queen. queen. Very good. Deborah, you will not bite the fingers that fed you. You now talk back at my mother, the queen, in such a disrespectful tone. I command you to withdraw those foul words you just used on her now. Do it. <laughs> you wish. Like mother, like daughter. Njideka, after me. Njideka, come back here. Follow me. She will do no such thing. Because I am the princess. She will do such because I am the queen. Njideka, follow I'll me. I'll tell you. This is her that time. I can't talk to this anymore. Anymore. She has got to take revenge. This is her that time. This is her that time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. What you look at? What you got up again? What you look at? What you look at? What you got up again? Now. All my fears has been confirmed. She is trying to take my place as a queen. That's not possible. You are the one true queen. The first queen. The one recognized by the people. He cannot allow himself to make such a grave mistake. Oh no, you do not understand. He is already paving way for her. My home has become uncomfortable for me. Calm down, my queen. Please calm down. I will speak to him. He must stay within the traditional provision. Then you need to come and speak with him. So he will understand he needs to stay within the traditional provisions. Do not fret. Everything is still under control. I will come. Oh no, I'll be waiting at the palace. Please. I'll be right behind you. Oh no, please. Dad has refused to freeze my account. I've tried speaking to him about it, but he wouldn't listen to me. Has he told you the reason for his refusal? That's the problem. He wants me to get married to Princess Annabelle before he can unfreeze my account. Marry who? Annabelle. Listen, brother. If you marry that girl, be rest assured that the marriage is headed for the rocks. Annabelle is a wrong choice, trust me. I know she's a wrong choice, but Dad doesn't want to hear any of that. 
He's just concerned about Annabelle becoming my wife. Like I said before, if you marry her, hmm? <laughs> just know that you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Please, think about it, okay? <laughs> you like it? Oh! Okay. Good. Wow. to walk into a room. Knock. You must be stupid and insane to think you'll come into my husband's bedroom and order me around. You useless thing. <laughs> Your husband. Last I checked, this is my husband and I'm still trying to figure out if I want to share him with you. Hmm? <laughs> As you can see, we were enjoying matrimony. Oh, you don't understand that? You need me to explain it to you? You must be out of your mind. In fact, you need to be taken to a psychiatric hospital. You useless thing. Don't you have shame? My cake, what is going on here? And what the hell is the matter with you? Mm -hmm. Have you suddenly lost your senses? Can't you see that you have lost it? And she has it. Young, fresh, Aww. and edible. You can see that. Are you blind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My king, you can't be saying that to me. I am your queen. You are real queen. You are only queen. Don't say anything, please. You don't need to. Don't need to his words. No, no. Please, I beg you. No, 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 no. Get out of my room. Exactly what I wanted you to do. Send the old cargo out of the room. You didn't hear? You are a fool! You are the bigger fool. Hmm? Oh, this baby. thing. Why can't you come to this to me? Get out of my room! Get out! Is it so you you got to I said get out! Get out. Get out. Get out. You are the side of me! Get out of my Nonsense! What a distraction. I hope you don't mind. It's okay, baby. I'm here for you already. Oh! Let's go up. Good. I'm gonna give it to Good. you. Sexy, sexy. Good. Okay, first I'll start oh. from mm, relax, relax. Mm, you like it? I love it. You like it? Relax. Oh. Just enjoy me. Mm? Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, baby. Mm? Mm. Make that sound. Oh, so shit, man. I Sweet. It. I know, I know. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. Oh. Chinwe, what is it? Douglas told me you freezed his account because he has continued to delay his marriage to Princess Annabelle. 
Daddy. To me, Princess Annabelle is not the best choice for Douglas. In fact, she's complete opposite of a wife. And who made you a better judge of character? Look, young lady. That girl, Annabelle, is a first class graduate of University of Chicago, United States of America. And she runs the division of her father's company. I am not aware that lifetime commitment needs a first class graduate. Daddy, Annabelle may have impressed you with her first class degrees and beauty, but she really needs to work on her manners. She's way below the deck. Maybe you should ask Douglas exactly what he needs in a woman. Excuse me. Get me a glass of water. She thinks I'm a walk over, but she doesn't know the much that is up her sleeves. Your Majesty. You know how desperate and wicked Princess Annabelle can be. Hmm? I suggest. Say no more. Don't think I am one bit bothered about those spoiled brats. They can never put actions to where their words are. Your Majesty. Wants to be left alone. Why don't you go in and get busy? You remember the accessory I showed you? Place them in their right position. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, no. I always like to raise a lamb before it rains. Mm. Our Igwe forgot that time was for no man. But we are still saying the same thing. No, we are not. We should have raised the issue of presenting an heir. Rather, we went on marriage spree. Tell me how that can be possible. Um, calm down. Calm down. Oh, no, we always tell you to calm down. Huh. Eh? I, I believe the king will announce a date in our next council meeting. There is still time for all this. You once said that the king has the right to pick a wife whenever he deems fit. Right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Let us assume that the king also has the right to present his hand whenever he deems fit. Why not let him be? Hmm. Well, I pray. Because I think our king is preoccupied in putting his house in order than presenting an heir. Yeah. Together, he is doing the work he is meant to do. Hmm? Why not wait and watch and see the outcome together? Eh? Hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. She thinks I'm a walk over, but she doesn't know the much that is up her sleeves. Your Majesty, you know how desperate and wicked Princess Annabelle can be. Hmm? I suggest. Say no more. Don't think I am one bit bothered about those spoiled brats. They can never put actions to where their words are. Your Majesty. Wants to be left alone. Why don't you go in and get busy? You remember the accessory I showed you? Place them in their right position. Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, 
Onu. Hmm? I always like to raise alarm before it rains. Hmm. Our Igwe forgot that time waits for no man. We got a check one But we are still saying the same thing. No, we are not. We should have raised the issue of presenting an heir. Rather, we went on marriage spree. Tell me how that can be possible. Um, calm down. Calm down. Oh, no, we always tell you to calm down. Huh. Eh? I, I believe the king will announce a date in our next council meeting. There is still time for all this. You once said that the king has the right to pick a wife whenever he deems fit. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Let us assume that the king also has the right to present his hand whenever he deems fit. Why not let him be? Hmm. Well, I pray. Because I think our king is preoccupied in putting his house in order than presenting an heir. Yeah. Together he is doing the work he is meant to do. Hmm? Why not wait and watch and see the outcome together? Hmm. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Hey, 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 hey! Will you, will you, will you? And you? What do you think? You're, what, what do you think you're doing? Where do you think you're going with this guy? Is he your car? What kind of dumb question is that? It's my husband's car. So what? I see you have a whole lot to be lectured because it appears you're unteachable. Do not touch this car again. Hey! I'm not going anywhere with this car. You've been trying my patience for far too long in this palace. I can see that you take every opportunity you see to make moves to unseat me from being the queen in this kingdom. But let me tell you, that will not work. Don't test me. Do your worst. <laughs> That's it. What is going on here? Tell the slimy queen of yours to stop converting every property in this palace to hers. What? How dare you use such degrading word on earth? Don't father me. Every single property that bears my name belongs to her. And let this be the last time I get crazy report of anybody daring not to talk of insulting my queen. This moment, I want you inside. Out of the way, please. Excuse me. Deborah. Oh. Suit yourself. Sure, I will. Definitely, baby. Thank you. Be careful, okay? Do take care of yourself, okay? I'll be there for you. Mm. Ah. Who removed those clothes and kept on top of our bed? I'm talking to you, Chinelo. Who removed those clothes? I want them back because they belong to Queen Deborah. Oh, your maiden queen. What? How dare you? Well, I will pretend as if I didn't hear that. I want those clothes now. Come and take it here. Are you stupid? How dare you? Now, move! Go and get me those clothes. Now! I said now! Move! What are we going to do now? Should we begin early? Finding another, another, another family. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. I'm not telling you, no, no, cha, 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 cha. 
Do you want us to incur the wrath of the gods? We are not going to talk to another family. The dynasty remains with King Anichebe's family. I said no. I don't agree with you, no. Let me tell you, Ahmadu Kingdom is on the verge of collapse. His Majesty must present his heir. Yes, we forced to take us down our hands. Yes, we must. Careful, Ichem Bamalo. Mind the kind of language you voice out. I am going to talk to the king, and I will do that in a short time. But the issue of talking to another family does not arise at all. Not in this meeting, not in this discussion. Period. Better talk to him. Hmm. Better duo. Uh -uh. Every time we shout, wait, wait, wait. Every time I call him, I call him, I call him. What is that? You want to break my bones? Will you, will you, will you massage properly? Massage properly? What did you just do in my presence? Are you all right? Come on, say sorry. Sorry what? Sorry what? Sorry, ma. You, you cannot call me queen because you're a dummy. Sorry what? Good. What's going on here? You now flaunt yourself as a queen? I am not flaunting myself as a queen. I am queen. No, you're not. And you know it, sneaky little bitch. You have said enough. More words from you and they will be the last you've ever uttered. Now you listen to me. Annabelle. Princess Annabelle. I am royalty. I should be addressed as one. Whatever. Whatever. Until you learn to address me as queen, only then will that title be restored to you. And while you were trying to digest and understand our little discussion, do let your mother know that the position of the queen has already been taken. Trash. Hey. Listen up, three of you. It will take me little or nothing to get you all sacked from this palace. I don't want to ever see you go close to that thing again. She is not queen, and she can never be queen of this kingdom. Do I make myself clear? Get out. I have come to take revenge. This is payback time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I have come to take revenge. This is payback time. Revenge. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. She has come to take revenge. This is payback time. I can't take it anymore. She can't take it anymore. This is payback time. Payback I can't take it anymore. Back time. Back time. Back time. Back time. anymore. They didn't know how to prevent you are. You took them off balance. From a rocky sea, you took them off balance. Vakana wana, vakane siya wu. Famoro kisi wada, vakana bogi koma. Ne ne niki, famoko yewu. I have come to take revenge. This is payback time. I can't take it. My princess, I'm not just a demand the presence. Tell her I'll be with her shortly. Yes, my princess. 
anymore. She has come to take revenge. This is payback time. I can't oh, take it anymore. anymore. She, she can't take it anymore. This is payback time. I can't take it anymore. Son, what is going on? Dad, nothing is wrong. I'm fine. That's not true. I can see frustration written all over your face. What is it? There is nothing that I cannot handle, Dad. I thought that you had already left. Yes, um... I have been on the phone with the vice president. He's planning a trip to Switzerland and he wants me to be part of his entourage. Mm. Sounds nice. So, uh, are you going? No. I am not ready for any trip right now. Maybe you can go and represent our company. I can face that. No, Dad, thank you. Look, son. You need a change. Maybe a little excitement. I don't think so. Let me tell you the secret of change. It is not to focus your energy on the old. And pure than the new. Hmm. That's philosophical. Yeah. Mm. Submit your international passport to the constituency office. I'll get someone to pick it up for you. My sweetheart, going somewhere? Yeah, but uh, why the man? Oh, he's my bodyguard. You know, I need to take very serious security measures to avoid stories that touch. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. We have well-trained guard in this palace and that you can be sure of. <laughs> All controlled by your wife and your children. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Come, let's go in. I am afraid not now. The governor is hosting the Council of Traditional Rulers and I should be on my way by now. Forget about the governor. There's something really sweet I'd love to show you inside. Really? Let's go. <laughs> She 
So, Douglas, tell me, how was your trip to Switzerland? Splendid. It was amazing. It was, it was a beautiful experience, trust me. Except for the times they had to drag me from one investment forum to the other. Makes me so sick. Mm. It shouldn't make you sick, my brother. Rather, it should make you grateful in the sense that you just had yourself in the midst of business mongols. I mean, great business giants. So, you're not supposed to be sick. You're supposed to be grateful, if you ask me. I know, right? Yes. Anyways, um, how are things over the palace? Oh, bodies, bodies. Mysterious things are happening in the palace. Yes, my father just shocked us all by announcing his cook as his new bride. As a matter of fact, the cook in question is trying so hard to be addressed as a queen. Can you beat that? Hmm. I can't imagine. I, 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 I know how it feels. You do? Of course I do. Trust oh, me. It's, it's sure. crazy. Mm. So, um, your sister Annabelle, how is she doing? Annabelle is doing good. The last time I asked, you and Douglas, what's the future between you two? What's going on? Where is all this relationship then leading you to? And she said, nothing exactly, so I'm gonna ask you. So Douglas, tell me, where's the relationship between you and my sister leading you to? When are you calling us to tie up the knot permanently? <sighs> Why don't you ask Annabelle again? Who are you, if I may ask, because I do not seem to recognize you. I see that your new attire as queen has blinded your eyesight from recognizing me. Watch your words or I will not hesitate to put you in your place. Who are you? Who? Do not forget that you were standing in the presence of the queen of Amudo kingdom. State your mission. Now. Anyway, I have come to see Princess Annabelle. That would not be possible. Go home, book a formal appointment with the palace protocol officer, or call her on phone. Excuse me? You are quite excused, and that is the door. Your fiancé or your toy boy. You should be saying thank you because I saved him the energy of having to endure your arrogance. Deborah, you are out of your mind. You are insane. Listen, my relationship is none of your business. Never in your life poke your nose in my affairs again. You know, you know, it's surprising that up till now you find it so difficult to address me as mother. Is it so hard for you? Queen mother, my foot! Count your teeth with your tongue, else I will pull them out with my hands. Let this not repeat itself again, else you won't like the consequences. Useless thing. Nonsense. Idiot.
queen mother, my foot. Did she just say that to me? I have come to take revenge. This is bad. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I have come to take revenge. This is bad. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I must congratulate you on winning that feat for the company. You see, I actually have been pursuing that contract for some time. Thank you very much, Father. I, I wanted to make you proud. <laughs> we are proud of you, Sam. Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you. Congrats, Liu. No one does it better than you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so, Father. Well, I'm going to leave my position right now. What do you mean by that? I know that you stand up for me to say. Is that what you mean? What kind of insult is this, Father? Wait, hold on. What did you just say, Deborah? Well, I'm going to leave my position right now or I'll be forced to drag you. Out with it. What? Must you wait until she throws you out before you stand up and go to the other side? I don't understand, Father. What's my mother should stand up for... for her to sit. Why are you embarrassing my mother like What did she do? What, what is all this nonsense? What are you going to do? You will do nothing, I dare you. Hello, Mama. Oh, listen, you daughter of a nobody. You have beaten more than you can chew. It's that time you left this palace in peace, else you won't like what I'll do to you. In peace, you said? Like there was ever peace here. Fine, if you as well do not want to stay here, I can throw you out of the palace. That's you're not going to get a piece of me. You're not, you're not going close Everybody to Everybody quiet! Why are you going to say? Oh! 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 My heart. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? My God. What is it? What is it? Father. My love. Father, somebody help! Father, the maids are dead! Father, my love. Hey! Somebody help! Father, what is it? Father, somebody help! Where the maids are dead! Not to be standing, Jude. <laughs> You're laughing, right? No, you see it as a joke. <laughs> it's fine. Listen, uh, what I want to establish hmm, is going to last the taste of time. Mm. Ah, ah. Are you doubting what I'm saying? No, I don't understand you. Are you doubting me? You're doubting my words. Look. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not done. Listen. Listen, I am talking. I have the money to do whatever I want to do. Listen, let me shock you. Okay. Hmm? The investment that I want to put up this time, hmm? mm. the edifice that I want to put up, trust me, no one on earth has been able to hit that target. Oh, okay. Except who? <laughs> except Douglas. <laughs> no one will hit that target. Douglas. I am talking and you are laughing. How? Douglas. Is it funny? Douglas. Spare me this whole establishment thing. This was what you told me the last time. And before I could say, Jack, you've already established in the US. <laughs> what happens afterwards? Come on, my friend. This is not... What is it? No, 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 no. This is not possible. How? Okay, what's going on? This can't be! How, how possible is this? No, 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 this can't happen. What happened now? King Anichibe is dead. I just got a text message that says he is dead. No, it's not possible. Um, listen, I, I, I have to leave you right now, okay? I have to run along. Okay, okay. I'll see you later, okay? I'll see you around, bro. Wait up, please, come. How much is the bill? It's 16.5. Oh, okay. Um, can you get me your POS? Okay.
Yet I'm trying to forget. Oh, trying to forget. Today it's like, like, like. My only different. Is this how we should be? Is this how we should be? Oh, when yeah, we're on My own is different. Is this how we should be? Is this how we should be? Oh, when yeah, we're on I thought I belonged here mm. Why this selection? Oh. I thought I belonged here oh. Why this selection? Oh. Whatever I do Become strong, guinea camere Humble, guinea camere Amai mi he mere Should I fight? Should I keep calm? Should I revenge? I had to come see you when I heard about your father's death. He was a good man. Yes, he was a good man. I really appreciate the fact that you came to see me. Most importantly, I am sorry for the last time. It's nothing. What's going to happen now that he's gone? He left with so many unfinished business. Not that much. Life goes on. What is left of me is to try and fit into his shoes and to continue from where he stopped. Accept my condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm done arranging the crates. They will soon be here, ma. I have for 2,500 at hand. The drinks are a few, including the meats. 
Oh, all right, ma. All right, ma. Bye. Hey, come here. For instance, you... Are you looking at me like that? Are you are you are you looking at me like that? Where is she? Where is she? Where is that idiot? Wait! Wait! Where is that idiot? What's hey. going on? Hey, 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 hey! Put that thing down. Your time is up. Go in there, pack your stupid things, and get out of this palace at once. Are you sure you know what you're doing? We know what we are doing. You drove my father to his early grave. You lured him into making the worst decision of his life. Your cup is full. You have overstayed your welcome. Get out of this palace now! Do not think that you have both won this. Trust me, I am definitely going to return to take my rightful place in my husband's house. The day you ever step foot into this palace again, that will be your last day on earth. Now get out. Take these bits off her. Strip her off. She's no longer royalty. Now, do it. Don't touch me. Remove the bits. She's no longer royalty. No sense. Look at the ugly thing. Mother, finally. She's been shown the way out. Yes. What insolence. That idiot has caused so much harm than good. Your brother has taken his place amongst his bride. You know, at a point, I thought he has forgotten his roots. He is a son of a lion. Yes, I know. Except the Lion King, as father, who was tricked into marrying an ordinary maid. Ugly, dirty thing. A lazy cook. You are so hilarious. Please, my child, instruct one of the maidens to get me something to eat. I don't have the strength to go downstairs. Anything for your mother. No, I'm in a good mood today. Same here, Mama. <laughs> I can now maintain my position as the queen, the only queen of Amodo Kingdom. <laughs> Victory is mine. I have no regrets at all. This is actually the first step in the right direction. King Anichebe's dynasty has not seen anything yet. 
seeing them walking about living their lives makes me sad. And making them suffer will give me so much joy. Oya la kebu. Oya la kebu. How can you be accusing anybody? Why? Mbamalo. Mbamalo. Respect yourself. Was I talking to you? Did I mention your name? He kwa kana onanya. Mbamalo. He kwa kana onanya. Mdere si kwa gya daka no name. Mbamalo. Tele si gru tubo irunjo. Tele si gru monke. I am told that you have no right to make such a statement. I said you should. Everything is dead. Be careful, Mbamalo. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Once you people quarrel every time, please, let's calm down. Settle down, please. Chamber man. Okay, I know I respect you. I respect you. Hey! 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 I said it is okay. I said it is okay. I want Sonani to take a look at my pose for. Sonani to take a look at my pose for Mbamalo. Be careful. I'm just asking you, Daka, no name. Be careful. Should I leave you people to continue with this quarrel? No, no, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Hey, Mary. A man whose house is on fire should not be chasing rats. Our king is dead, but we have our tradition, which must be followed to the latest. Of course, yes, we must follow our tradition. Prince Leonard must be crowned king. Our late king never chose him as his successor. We have a tradition, or no? No, like this kingdom knows that our king is dead and Leonard will be crowned the next king. This is wrong again. Leonard can never be our king. The king never chose him. I repeat, the king never chose him as a successor. He will not. Okay, it's okay. Not okay. Let me tell you, if you're not comfortable with all the one who said about Leonard becoming the king, out. That's out. Exit yourself. No. Oh no. no. Get out. Get out. No. Get out. No. No. Oh no, I'm leaving. Leave. I got to talk about the name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. 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 Ichie, come back. I'd like to go. I'd like to go. Come back! Let him go. Let him go. Who is he? Without this stupid idiot, I'm more than going to leave. As far as I'm concerned. Ah, Ichie, Mba Malo. Mba Malo. Hey, who is he? Let there be peace. Let there be peace. With this man? With this man? Let's just be calm. Let's just be calm. Hey! This man, Okwama can na jike. Okwama. Hey! Let us respect the dead. And his majesty for that matter.
my prince, we the elders in council are here to pay homage to your, to your father, your late father, King Ali Chebe. We are also here to officially take you to the Imobi so that you can start the process of your coronation. It is true that your father wasted time in presenting you as his heir, but we have all accepted you. And we know, and we agree, and we say that you're going to be the next king of Amudo Kingdom. Stop! Leona can never be king. What is she doing here? Can someone please remind this thing that King Anichibe is dead? Thank you so much for your reminder. But I'm not here for any of such nonsense. But we all know that Prince Leonard is King Anichebe's first son and the heir to the throne of Amudo. Oh no, why are we wasting our precious time on this white witch? Oh no, please, you may, you may proceed. Thank you. And why are you against his accession to the throne? Because he is not King Anichebe's biological son and the queen knows that. You are evil and wicked. I regret ever allowing you into my home. Nobody should listen to her. Don't listen to her, she's a liar. Are you sure? Because I'm just about to take you down memory lane. Hey, I can see that the baby is good. Okay, just calm down. Keep on coming time to time to the hospital. And Thomas, not to go I'm very fine. Um, is my mother around? I brought her her food. Your mother is in a private world. I guess she's busy. Why don't you drop her food on her decks? Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Gusi. Okay, Deborah. Are you sure? <laughs> Nobody saw you take the baby. My queen. I am the matron in this hospital. Nobody will ask a question. The mother hasn't woken up since she put to bed. Still very weak. And she might not survive. My queen, the baby is now yours. Oh, you see that? I am going to exchange it with yours. Go, 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 go. My queen. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You've just saved my home and marriage. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank You're you. welcome, my queen. A good tone deserves another. I understand what it means to lose a child. I have a little boy, too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will reward you for this. So you, you, you Matron Elizabeth's daughter. All this while I have always wanted to avenge my mother's death. Mother, what's she talking about? I thought you couldn't make it. All these years you've lived in the palace. You are Matron Elizabeth's daughter. Oh yes, I am. Look at you. Reaping the fruit of your treachery against another woman. What did she do to you? All she did was show you kindness and help you save your marriage. Yet, when she came to you for help, you turned your back on her. Your Majesty, please save my son. I don't want him to die. Help me with some money, please. What is wrong with you? How about all the money I sent to you? Are you this wasteful? Your Majesty, my son has to go for this operation. All I'm asking for is some money to pay for the deposit. I've already gotten a considerable discount. Please, 
Please. Listen, woman. This palace does not look like a charity organization. You can take your son elsewhere. Your children, take them elsewhere. They can be treated. Don't come to this palace with your useless plates. Why are you treating me this way? Remember, I saved you. I saved your home. I exchanged another man's child for you. Shut up! When you lost Sh your... Shut up! I've had enough. Now leave this place. Please. Leave! Please, Your Majesty, please. Dad! Please, Your Majesty. I said, leave this place. Please, Your Majesty. Leave this place. Please. I said, leave. Move it. Move it. Your Majesty, please. I said, leave. My son, please, Your Majesty. I'm begging you, please. I'm begging you, please. Save my son. Save my son. Your Majesty, save my son. Your Majesty, please. 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 Your Majesty, Forget to lay it lie, lie, lie. My only difference is this how we should be? Is this how we should be? Oh, when yeah, we're on. My only different is this how we should be? Is this how we should be? Oh, when we're on I thought I belong here. Why this selection? Oh, I thought I belong here. Oh, why this selection? Oh, whatever I do becomes wrong, Guinea Cameroon. Should I fight? Should I keep calm? Should I revenge? I will revenge you. You will not accuse me wrongly. Never! Mother, please don't let this thing push you to the wall. 
I will not stand here and let you talk nonsense. Your mother was beginning to get on my skin, making unnecessary demands. I only wanted to shut her up. The plan was not to kill her, but to frighten her so she would stop blackmailing. Lie! Big, fat lie! You killed my mother and you know it! Don't even try to deny it. That car was from the palace. And so what? The guard was punished for his mistakes. What else do you want? Why did you kill her? The instruction was just to frighten her. But instead, you killed an innocent woman. Apologies, my queen. It was not intentional. That is what you know how to do all the time. Apology. You are very stupid. My queen, I'm sorry, my queen, I'm sorry. Get up. Now, come close. Now listen, and listen very good. Get rid of the car and the process in it. Your Majesty. Shut up. I do not want to see you around this palace for now. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Yes, Your Majesty, I do. Now leave. Thank you, Majesty. Satisfied? Are you satisfied now? Finally. I have gotten my pound of flesh. And yes, and as for you too, I have finally deflated your high hanging ego. My mother can now rest in peace. Hello. Let us go. The child we have come to celebrate is dead. Anakwambim. your family while you deprive a young woman from her son. How? How? Get out of here! Stay away! Stop it! Stay away! Stop it! Please! Stop it! Stay away! Are you out of your mind? You keep her stop! Stop it! Stop it!
sorry. I'm sorry for all I did to you. I'm sorry I... I transferred my aggression on you. Without my frustration on you, was helpless. I lost control. Realizing the truth, coming to terms with reality. out of me and I lost control I lost it all I am sorry to be angry but I just want you to know that no matter what I say you will always be my brother I love you Leonard you are going nowhere It doesn't taste any different. It's just there. In every kitchen, tastes are bound to change. Whatever. Listen, Annabelle, I... I understand you're going through a difficult time in your family. I get it. But I want to assure you today that if you ever need anything, anything at all, do not hesitate to call me. What's this nonsense? What's the meaning of this nonsense? I'm sorry. Huh? You want to mess yourself up with a woman? You didn't see a hotel to go to? It's this car? I'm sorry. What do you mean? You didn't know someone was in the car? You're just stupid. I'm sorry. Look at this stout. Look at your head. Look at it. Don't try this rubbish again. Thank your style. I'm in a good mood today. And you, you are a disgrace to your generation. No sense. Look at the things. Fools. I know you're passing through emotional stress right now. But I want you to follow your heart. My heart? Yes, dear. You are not a kid anymore. And you've got instincts. Let me ask you a question. Do you love someone? No! No, I don't. Chima, where is this coming from? 
deep down your heart. You know there is a woman somewhere that is not Princess Annabelle. Of course, we know you've gotten over that princess. So, follow your heart. Are you making this up? Come on. Why would I make this up? Hmm? Why would I make this up? I do know that if I were you, I will follow my heart. Chimwe, 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 wait, come, come back now. Where are you going to? Follow your heart, brother. Douglas, what are you doing here? How did you find me? Well, I looked everywhere for you. I couldn't find you. Your best friend told me you traveled to the village just to spend some time. Listen, I just want to know if you're okay. As you can see, Helen is fine. Now you can leave. Please, don't turn your back on me like that. I traveled all the way just to see you. Please give me that chance to explain things to you, please. Douglas, you have nothing to explain to me. No. Something to tell you. Where is Douglas? Hey, Dad. Um. He left very early this morning. Is everything okay? You know, all is not well. I've been trying to reach him on the phone. He's not responding. Well, maybe he's busy. You should text him instead if it's that important. Mm. Um, when are you supposed to go back to school? Next month. Hold on. Do not tell me you're getting bored of my presence in this house. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, education is very important. So do not get it twisted. I know. <laughs> well, like I said, I'll be going back next month. Is that okay by you? Very well. <laughs> I will get you prepared. Thank you, Daddy. I trust you. <laughs> well, excuse me. Let me check out something. Your father made it clear to me that I never belonged here. We had something together. My love, I know. Okay, I, I know and I am deeply sorry for everything that happened in the past. Please, forgive me. Let's, let's, let's move on. You think it is that easy? I spent five years 
knowing a man who cannot defend our love before his father. Hmm. I'm sorry. I've moved on. No, baby, come on. You, you can't move on. Please. Listen. Listen, okay? I am here so you just find it somewhere in your heart to forgive me. Give me a second chance. I'll make things right. Please. Please, my love, please. Sorry, I'm out. Hello. Give me the second chance that I asked for. I... Helen, Helen, please. Helen, please. Don't, don't do this. Helen. Helen, please. Please, I have begged you. I have begged you. It's not my fault. Okay, I am sorry. If I... We are sorry. Everybody, we are sorry, ba baby. please. Helen. Helen, can you can you hear me? Baby! Douglas and I'll say you have got. You took my sister out. Abandoned her in the midst of hoodlums. People capable enough to harm her, to embarrass her. And then you come back to this palace. To do what exactly? To do what? Exactly. Did your sister Annabelle tell you how everything played out? Did she tell you how she keeps embarrassing people from one place to the other? No, I'm sure she didn't. Did she tell you how everything, everything happened before accusing me wrongly? Accuse you? Douglas, did you hear accuse you? Yes, you are. Oh my goodness. I should have known that you are Stupid! You're a liar and... You're a bastard! So you took my sister out, abandoned her for hoodlums to, 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 to harm her? All because she was trying to correct an impression? To right a wrong? What a man. You're very lucky my sister has accepted to marry you. She loves you, else... I will teach you a lesson you will never forget. Why don't you start by teaching your sister on how to respect other people's spaces? That's fair enough. Douglas. Let me warn you. If you are not responsible, I mean, if you're not ready to take in a woman as a wife, Tell my sister so that she can stop wasting her precious time on you. Stop giving me flimsy excuses. You hear me? Prince Leonard, listen, I am not here for a fight. Douglas! Get out of my house. Now. My son. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Well. Now I'm going to be proud of you. Hey, well. Wow. <laughs> really? You found a good girl for yourself to marry? Kisley did this. Kisley did that. 
I never knew I had an older brother. Only you have. Oh. You have. <laughs> King Silly. He man with the brother, we are inseparable. The Deborah! Deborah! Remember I told you we were going to go and plug some things. Do you remember? Okay. Sit down. It's okay. It's okay. But first, eh, I'm going to play these words. I will ring you ten times before we we'll go and plug the food today. Nah, you still win me in this game. No, this one I win you. See if you can defeat me this time. Eh? I can just go. Go stop crying. Please stop crying. No problem. I'm going to enjoy the food together. Okay? Oh, let me show for it. What is the game? Playing first. Okay, go. Pick two. This girl, your time you. Do you want to play KYB? Wait. How are you? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to the market. Take care of your sister, oh? So where are you? Who is who's playing? Me. Yeah. I don't have it. <laughs> Last card. Take it! Hey. I won the first round. 14 more rounds to go. Get ready to pluck on my oranges. You want to play game, Abby? Oh yeah, nah. You want to play? Look at just look at how many this. Just look at. Don't worry. You will not win. I win this time. Oh yeah, nah. You know, dude, you just. <laughs> hey. I found Kinsley. Kinsley here is an orphan who lost eventually everything. He felt all was lost, but gradually he came to understand 
there is more to what he felt about himself. The border. This is your brother, Kensilu. Kensilu. This is your sister, Deborah. And you must love yourself as brother and sister. Love yourselves and know that I will always be here for you. Face the future, for there is hope. Thank you Thank so you. much, Auntie. God bless you. Bless you, too. Miss those good days. Sometimes I want to wake up, seeing both of them running around the whole place. Yeah. His trip abroad must have been a heartbreak for the boy. It was. Uh, it was, uh, but at a time, being the strong girl that she is, we moved on happily. And your arrival made us not to miss Kingston so much. <laughs> Kingston Lee. Chuma! What is it? Mama, huh? I left the soup on the fire. Which hey, my own soup? Hey, now you are. Polly, that's some gara, Kena. Let nothing happen to that soup, bro. In a bag, get to it. Eh? Every time I turn it, it's the look at how big your ear is. Nothing should happen to that soup. All right, Doc? I told you. You have to listen to me. Annabelle is a no more area for me. As it stand, you have no say in this matter. It's either Annabelle or you have your account frozen. That I am not a kid anymore. I am not. I am a grown man. I have every say in this matter because it is my life. I have the pose. I have the, I have the right to choose whoever I want to make my wife. You are not old enough. You know nothing, young man. Look, you better go out there and make up with Annabelle. If you still want to be part of this family, she is the one that you must marry. End of story. Approaching this matter the wrong way. Arguing with dad is not an easy way out of this issue. than bad news. But I still think you should approach this matter diplomatically to avoid being on crossroads with Dad. Okay. Wish Dad do. See everything from your own perspective. You just have to make him start saying it from my own perspective. Okay? Raising voices at each other wouldn't make it easier. It won't help. Okay? It's okay. Your Highness, my hands are tied. There is nothing anybody can do. No, there is something you can do. King Anichebe was your confidant. Both of you shared a bond worth emulating. I do not want King Anichebe's dynasty to die. What you see? 
it, it is close. Why didn't you confide in your husband? No, no. I was scared. Coupled with my experience with miscarriages. You see, every mother needs to do this until delivery. Just yesterday that I did not go. My husband almost made me lose my child. I did not sleep at all. It's okay, you know, every man in his shoes will behave like that. Eh? You see, you need to take your antenatal classes seriously. Your family doctor is there to take care of you and the baby. What got me shocked yesterday was the statement he made. That if anything happens to his first child, that I should not return to the palace. <laughs> Those are mere words from the king. He doesn't mean it. See, what you should do is go for your antenatal classes. Take care of you and the baby. Please. Okay? I had to take every measure to save my marriage. <laughs> no, so you don't have to blame me. I am sorry, Your Majesty. But in this case, the decision to crown a king does not lie in the hands of one man. Oh no! Oh no, please, oh no! You can influence others. I do not want King Anichebe's dynasty to die, please. King Anichebe's <laughs> dynasty died with him. Go home. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! young girl were brought here years ago that were hit by a hit and run driver. Where's the boy? Please. Open your mouth and start talking. Please, I, I just started working here last week. You can ask Metro. She's the only staff here. Okay. I don't... Start singing like a bird. Right now. One. Two! One sack, years back, after I caught her with child traffic. Please don't kill me. Where does she stay? They arrest her, but now she don't come out from prison. Please don't kill me. Shh! Save your sermon for your congregation.
Address. Fast! You just took my son. Don't you ever! Don't you dare! Don't you dare call me your son! I am not your son. How can you be? How, how mean can you possibly be? Do you know the emotional trauma? Do you cost me? Come on. Why did you discuss with me? Why didn't you discuss with my father? Oh yes, he's not even my father. Obviously my father is somewhere You are heartless, so you deserve to be arrested. Don't you dare. Do you ever call me your son again? Leonard, please. Please forgive and forget. I know you are traumatized, but you will get over it. We can always fix this. No, Annabelle. Not every broken piece can be fixed. This one cannot be fixed. This <laughs> witch! Ruined our lives. Broke us. Into pieces. That can never be fixed. I am broken. I am broken. This is painful, this is heartbreaking, this is painful, this is heartbreaking. What will I do without the power of God? What can I do without the grace of God? Oh. Who are you? What are you doing here? Just an answer. Then maybe I can spare your life. What do you want? Accident victims were brought to the hospital where you were walking. Children. You gave the boy to a couple at that time. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Ah, nurse. <laughs> Hope you've been attended to. Very much. I have no problem. You okay, ba? Very much okay. <laughs> okay. I hope work is going well. Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> All right. Okay, G. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm preparing a booklet for a patient in ward six. <laughs> Leave it. 
Did you hear me? Yes, There's a patient in ward two of upstairs. He needs urgent medical attention. So go upstairs right now. Stay with him. Make sure you do anything he wants you to do for him. Do you understand me? Don't leave that place. You can go now. Take care of this. Nice, nice. I hope it's going well. Pay the sum of 500,000 naira to your account first things tomorrow morning. Okay, sir. You can go now. Thank you very much. Thank you. You've done so much for me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Hey dear, you look worried. What's the problem? And what is your name? My, my name is Deborah. Um, ma, I need help. Yes, it's a long story. It's a long story. Okay, I'm coming back from church now. Can you follow me to my house so that we calm down and tell me the story? Thank you, thank you, my friend. No, 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 thank you, stand up. Let's go. Stand up. Where's the boy? I did not think that question would take you time in answering. Where can I find the boy? Deborah. Fantastic. At least we're making progress. Where is the boy? I'm not sure I can remember. Deborah. Why are you here now? Huh? Ah! Biko, please, don't kill me. I will tell you. The address I will give or you. your death. Please, don't kill me. Start talking! I will give you the address. Please don't kill me. 
<laughs> What's your problem? Did I not say I don't want to see anyone today? Apologies, my prince. But there's someone outside that wants to see you. You say that you're too daft or you're too stupid to understand that I do not. Leonard. Are you not going to our family service? What have you been up to lately? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for one Mr. Chigozi Okeke. Chigozi Okeke. Yes. I'm the same you live here. This should be number 30 Becker Street, right? Yes. Uh, he's married to a fair lady like that. Last I remember about them, it's about 20 something years now. Do you mean. Ogagos here. Must be the same person. He has an only son. He doesn't live here anymore. Um, I'm sorry. Do you know where he stays now? Yes. I don't know. I can give you his name. Ah, thank you so much. Oh thank God. you. Oh uh, anyway, permit me to get a sheet of paper. I was already going out. No trouble. Thank you. I have come to take revenge. This is bare back time. I can't take it anymore. Anymore. I have come to take revenge. This is bare back time. Oh, um, the Bora, what a surprise. You didn't tell me you were visiting. Welcome. Chief. She goes here, okay, okay. Yes. Years ago, you and your wife adopted a baby boy from a hospital. The child was involved in a hit and run case. That adoption was done illegally with the help of a matron. Remember? Do you remember? In the borough. What the hell are you doing here? Is he the one? You are my brother? My brother was adopted without knowing anything and I had to escape in the middle of the night. I refuse to believe all these tales by moonlight. Father, I am your son. I am your biological son. Okay. 
for you, if I may ask, because I do not seem to recognize you. I see that your new attire as queen has blinded your eyesight from recognizing me. Watch your words or I will not hesitate to put you in your place. Who are you? Who? Do not forget that you were standing in the presence of the queen of Amudo kingdom. State your mission. Now! Anyway, I have come to see Princess Amudo. That would not be possible. Go home, book a formal appointment with the palace protocol officer, or call her on phone. Excuse me. You are quite excused, and that is the door. It is not possible that I am her brother. It is not possible. It's not possible. Don't tell me that. She's lying. She's right. You were adopted as a return. My wife and I were married without a child for five years. As soon as you came in, she took in with you. No! I refuse to believe this! This is so wrong! I can't believe this! Everything is happening so fast around you. Okay. It feels like my whole world is crashing. It would have been easier to have a head start. I understand. I really do understand. But you do not need to blame anybody, especially dad. There is no way he would have known you had a sister. Blame dad? No, I can't blame dad. There is no way I, I will cross with dad. It's not possible. I am the one who should be appreciative of him. He took me and he picked me up from nothing. He made me who I am today. He gave me life. He provided for me. He still provides. It's not possible. I don't blame dad. Come to think of it. Surprisingly, I am not excited to see my sister. But why? I don't know. I really do not know. I, can, I can't place it. I, I just don't know. I just can't tell. Maybe because of her, her life with King Anichibe. I guess so. Dad. Just take it. Just. We'll get through this. Okay? You'll be fine. I'll get you a drink because you need it. I'm sure you'll need that drink over there. You're welcome. Woo! Ah. Ah. Mm. Adopted. would have believed that because he has always loved and protected you. 
couldn't believe it myself. To think that my sister has always been in my face shocked me to the bone marrow. I understand. What are you going to do? Nothing. Chief Gozier remains my father. I mean, he's the only one. He's the only one I have in my life right now. He's the only relative I have. And of course, Chiwe, my sister. <sighs> Just take it easy. One step at a time, okay? <sighs> and that's the reason why I am here. Lynn, I want you back in my life. Lynn, forgive me. I have begged severally. You, you, you need to listen to me. I beg you. I want you in my life. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, I cannot possibly spend the rest of my life with someone else. You know, you know that for sure. Please find it somewhere in your heart to forgive everything that has happened in the past. Let's move on. Douglas. Yes. It is difficult. <laughs> ba baby, please. Nothing on earth is difficult. Nothing is difficult in life. I know somewhere in your heart you want this back. Please listen to your heart. Let's move on. We have a lot to, to, to achieve together. We have a lot in front of us. I'm sorry uh, all these things happened. I, I am so sorry. Uh, it will never repeat itself again. I promise you that. I will be a better man. I, I, as a matter of fact, I am a changed man. Please. Hey, stay my son and your elder brother. Third day we went to the hospital for checkup. I was when the doctor told us everything about him. Douglas brought so much joy and made us proud. Mm. He paved the way for your bed. So touching. Dad? Yes. Maybe you should consider unfreezing his account and allow him to make a choice of his own bride. You know very well that marriage is a long term commitment. You're right. Yeah. Continuing to freeze his account. And uh, make it life more comfortable for him. My lady must stray. And by then, trying to write the story may not be easy for anyone. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you. Like, you just said it all, and I'm so, so happy. <laughs> yes, Daddy. Yes. Um, my shopping. Oh, don't worry. I will credit your account for that. Yes! <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> I love you. I love you more. <laughs> i
You made a promise to Ajashirai. What do you want? I said what? I do not understand the reason you summoned me. You failed to redeem your promise to the Grand Bellam of the Night. Promise? I do not remember making any promise on that day. Silence! Do not lie against the Grand Bellam of the Night. The one who does not turn his back to a contrite soul and a broken heart. Have you forgotten? Asimai The great Balaam of the night knows why you are here. Your heart is heavy. Yes. Yes, wise one. The royal family has brought so much pain to my soul. I want to revenge my mother's death. Sleep has eluded me since she passed. She cries out for revenge. Are you ready to go the whole long yard? Are you ready to give her justice? Yes. Yes, wise one. I am ready to go the whole long yard. No matter the cost. Yes. The great Balaam of the night demands that once your wishes are granted, you will come here and appreciate him, not wasting a single day. I agree. I agree. You will step into the sacred ground of the great Balaam of the night, from where your ritual process will begin. Asibai! You failed to fulfill your promise to Balaam. No problem. I am here now. It is not late to appreciate. It is late. The Grand Balaam of the night does not play second fiddle. No. Does he struggle for what rightly belongs to him? Nini. You have no choice in this matter anymore. The price must be paid in full. The Grand Bellum of the Night demands the blood of one closest to you. Who? Now, listen. Listen to me, you old monk. I don't understand what you're talking about. I cannot remember making such promises to you on that day. Why didn't you just tell me? If you had told me, I would have not gotten involved in all of this. And not make me feel like I don't know what I'm saying. I never had such plan or decision with you. You old monk. What's wrong with you? Listen, we better settle this rubbish right here and now. Rubbish. Young woman, listen to me. A lesson for life. When angry, be silent. I tried to avenge our mother's death. But maybe I should have left vengeance.
for God. The fact that I had not seen you all those years broke my heart so much. So I decided to visit a spiritualist. The great Balaam proffered remedy with consequences. I am so happy to have seen you, my brother. Very happy. I want you to stay alive. Take care of yourself and Chimwe. You're all I've got. I, I am very close to my consequences, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. get to know this. The Bible says that which is in the heart of me, no one can say. But I decree and declare today, here and now, that every evil chain whatsoever must be broken in Jesus.
for the serious attack. And that attack is serious. Once the attack comes, take a portion of the story of God. Make it in faith and believe. Take another portion of this point. Say the name of Jesus Christ four times in belief and faith. And then touch it on the forehead of the system. And the Lord God of Christ. It is well with me. Through Jesus Christ, who strengthens us. Amen. That's right. Jesus, Lord of 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 Jesus. The Lord God of hosts will intervene. You're fine now. <laughs> 